welcome back. We are going to be doing the viral thrift store ghost painting. So we're gonna show you guys what we found. So we are gonna be painting ghosts on these. I'm excited. Let's do it. I will be separating this video into chapters. So this chapter is going to be this Victorian style painting. And the next chapter is going to be my painting, which is the landscape. Oh my gosh. I just wait till you get there. Um, but for now, watch an actual artist paint this because my sister is so good at art. She's actually an art teacher, in case you didn't know. And she's just so amazing at it. Look what she's doing to this dog. It's probably my favorite part of her entire painting. Okay, side note, I see that she's changing shades right now. And so I've always seen like famous artists do stuff like that where they're like putting a base color there, but I've never known like exactly what to do. So I think it's really interesting when you see people do it. Also, let's just take a moment to appreciate this super cute cat that is hiding behind the painting. Oh my gosh, okay, so she's playing with the flowers right now and it's looking so good as she's doing it. Like, she's like Picasso, I don't know what to tell you. Like, look at this. It looks so nice. I don't think I could do that. I think the flowers are probably my favorite part. Like, this legitimately looks like it was part of the real painting. Okay, so if you thought the flowers were good, watch this. This is even better. Okay, these spider webs look so cool.
hope you took a long, hard look at this picture because I am about to destroy it. <laughs> There is a reason why I started with my sister's painting first, and that is because that one is clearly the best. So, first I start by making these nice autumn leaves. You'll want to remember this moment because we're going to be coming back to it soon. But look at the effort that I took with each leaf. I even put some on the ground. Honestly, these colors together look great. I think that they look like fall. At the time, I don't know that I thought that. Um, and here I am, just drawing a pumpkin, trying to get inspiration from the haunted house beside me. And now I'm going to take the white, and I'm going to dab it onto the canvas and create the first happy little ghost. It's so cute, it's poking out between the little leaves. You're squinting your eyes, you probably won't even see it. I think this is where the turning point in this painting finally happens. So the sky becomes dark and that's only the beginning. Okay, the sky is getting even darker now and it's gonna get worse. So buckle up because it's, it's gonna be a long ride. I've got no plans, I've got no roadmap. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just making layers. What I do have is an adorable cat in front of me. May have spoken too soon. That's right, it took one look at my painting and it ran away. Okay, my sister's trying to give me some expert advice. I'm not sure if I take it. And I don't think anyone can help me at this point. kind of looks like a wizard that just trying to cast a spell at my painting. I don't think it worked. So this is going to be the moment where things take another turn. That's right. These leaves, these autumn leaves that look so great in the fall, they're gone. They're replaced with a dark night sky. So I just want to take a few moments to appreciate the beauty of this little tiny welcoming bat that is welcoming everybody into the spooky haunted house that it is perched on. It's so cute. And if you look to the haunted house figurine beside me, you will see that same bat, only much cuter. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stop talking and I hope that you guys 
find joy in me just completely destroying this painting. Okay, so they are finished. These are the beautiful masterpieces. I hope you love them. Here is my sister's painting that she found, the Victorian style one. This is before. Look at it. You can see faces. You can see details of the lace, of the roses. Now, this is what it's become. It's cobwebs everywhere, spider webs. This ghost is wearing a tiara. Another one has an iPad, the Starbucks. It's crazy. Here is my $4 painting. I really love the two owls perched on the fence. Also, I'd like to point out that I use glow in the dark paint for the stars. I'm honestly not sure how much of the actual original canvas is left. So we've got part of the fence, part of the little cobble stones, and a few leaves. Everything else is gone. But happy Halloween!